A disturbing incident that happened during a high school football trip more than two years ago is still sending shockwaves through one Tucson school district. News 4 Tucson investigator Alexis Burdine has exclusive details of the case. A warning, this story does include graphic content, so parental discretion is advised. This police report gives a glimpse into what happened on a chartered school bus back in 2018. Three students wound up arrested. Now there's a legal battle between the victim and the school district. Based on camera footage, we did find that there was some type of an assault that did occur. That assault and the coach, who the victim says allowed it to take place under his watch, are now the subject of a lawsuit against the Amphi School District. This civil complaint filed in Pima County Superior Court says, Back on September 27th, 2018, an Ironwood Ridge High School student was assaulted in a sexual manner by his junior varsity football teammates. The team was on a chartered bus returning from an away game in Nogales when it happened. It was captured on video, evidence that would be used against several members of the team. In this case, it was very important because we had some disparity between even what the witnesses said versus the victim. Um, so this gave us a clear understanding of what actually occurred. The video clearly shows a student pull his right hand back and shove his finger into the victim in a hard, aggressive manner. Another student pulled down the front of his shorts, placing his genitals on the victim's face. The chaos didn't stop until it caught the attention of the football coach. He was sitting at the front of the bus. Based on the video itself, you can see that the coach uh, knew something was going on, so he got up and proceeded to the back of the bus, and that's when everything ceased at that time, and the kids got back into their seats. The district wouldn't go on camera, but in a statement to the News 4 Tucson investigators, an Amphi spokesperson told us, the Amphi Theater District conducted a thorough investigation of the incident in question and followed its policies, procedures, and the law in handling it. As for the lawsuit, we do not comment on ongoing legal matters. The attorney for the student tells us the family is not doing any interviews. But according to court documents, the lawsuit alleges Amphi has a duty to watch what students are up to, at least at a general level, including while traveling to and from a school-sponsored football game. The district failed to properly supervise those students. At this point, the student's attorney is not saying how much they're asking for in damages. An Amphi representative said they cannot provide details about what their own internal investigation revealed, but they did confirm the JV coach did not return the following year. The district has also responded to the lawsuit, denying the allegations. Remember those three students who were arrested? They're facing charges from indecent exposure, to assault. If you have a story you'd like for us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call our tip line 955-4444. Investigating for you, Alexis Burdine, News for Tucson.